Okay, here's where we're at. I installed the motors and they were pretty straightforward. You just four screws in the bottom. Though I must say the um, <clears throat> the kit came with screws and washers and uh, I didn't know if those washers went with them or the motors or something else. Um, I don't think they go with the motors because there wasn't enough of them. And where I do think they go is with the uh, camera mount. Because uh, I was noticing as I was putting these on that the uh, it's it's not very um, very good clearance. or well, it's too much clearance uh, for these little nuts on the camera mount there. So <clears throat> I suspect that's where those um, washers go. In any case, I mounted these... Um, ESC's on the bottom. I probably would have mounted them on top, but I did see that the uh, the video that uh, Zero did <clears throat> has them mounted on the bottom, so that it might be easier to run the the cables down to the bottom that way. So I just went along with that. Um, I also put bullet connectors on the uh, on the ESC's. Um, I probably should have put males on it instead of female on the ESC side, but I'm not going to go back and redo that now. Um, where's my red wire? There it is. Okay. Um, anyhow, so I got all my ESCs with bullets so that I can extend those wires long enough to, uh, reach the, uh, um, battery cable that came with the, uh, came with the kit. Now the controller is going to mount over here in the back. Um, this thing comes with two IMUs, and one of them is for the uh, is for the quad itself, and it mounts there. The um, Wi-Fi unit goes in the front here, and then uh, we'll be mounting the the uh, GPS antenna. Hmm, I guess probably over here. I think we'll just put the, uh, I have to look and see what they did, but I think it's, uh, <clears throat> I think it's mounted on this arm here, but I'll have to double check that. It might mount somewhere else, but we'll see. Um, there's another uh, IMU unit here that comes with this, and this other one goes with the, uh, let me see, it'll mount here on the, on this plate, and that will give all the information, the sensor information that the uh, camera gimbal needs. So what I'll do now is go ahead and mount the rest of this stuff, figure out how to complete the wiring, um, and what I'll do is check back in once I get some of this wiring uh, figured out. <clears throat> I need to figure out where to run it and how to mount it to the uh, battery and the uh, controllers and. IMUs and all the rest of that good stuff. So I will uh, figure that out and then get back. All right, what I'll try to do is uh, get caught up here and show you what I've done. <clears throat> I think I'm at the point now where I can I can start to actually mount all my electronics. But first, let me back up a little bit. Um, again, the front of the front of this is the double hole doohickey here. The rear is with the three holes. Um, something to remember is that this is number one motor, number two, number three, and number four. So it just goes counterclockwise like that. The um, reason you'll need that is because the different motors need to plug into the different uh, motor connections in the, in the uh, flight controller. <clears throat> now they've already, I think, hooked up these... Uh, uh, ESCs so that the motor is going to go in the proper direction because I noticed that uh, every other one is um, opposite. So they flip the wires to make them go in the opposite direction. So um, you should just be able to mount those and, and off you go. Um, I just use some uh, uh, bullet connectors to extend the wires <clears throat> on all the ESCs and ran them into these uh, things that I found there. It's just a bullet connector which is a a four to uh, a single one here and then a regular XT 
what is it called, XT80 or something like that? I don't know, XT60, XT80, what does it say? Can't even read it. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, it's that Turnigy connector. Um, hooking up the uh, flight controller got me a little bit confused because one of the things you have to know is that this does require an S-Bus receiver. Now, I picked up this uh, FR Sky uh, TFR 8 SB, which I haven't tested yet, <clears throat> but I understand it's supposed to be, um, well, I know it's compatible with uh, Futaba because I've used these before. I just have never used the uh, S-Bus version, so I don't even know anything about S-Buses. In fact, when I was trying to hook up this uh, flight controller, I was following <coughs> along with um, Alashamo's uh, video. He does a really nice video on connecting the um, the YS series um, controller, um, and I was connecting all my all my uh, connections to the receiver through the aileron and throttle connections on here. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to hook up the IMU for the um, for the stabilizer, which is actually this one here, um, because it takes up these four slots which are the slots that I normally would use for my receiver um, just to let you know you got to use an S bus and it plugs into this C7 uh, connection right here so uh, keep that in mind if you don't have one of these receivers you're gonna have to get one um, or, or go pick up a Futaba <coughs> S bus series which are not cheap this thing here only runs about uh, I think it's under fifty dollars so uh, and you can get it in the U.S. or wherever. So, um, in any case, uh, let me think if there's anything else I need to fill you in on before I actually mount everything. What I'll do is, uh, here, I'll just show you real quick, I'll show you where everything hooks up. Um, better get my glasses on because I can't see without them. So, uh, let's see here. Okay. So the IMU for the actual quadcopter connects to, um, looks like I2, um, which is just the first connection on the upper side. If you look at this, the YS is reading across this way, multi-rotors right here. I'll try to take a close-up of this thing so that you can see what's going on and what connects where. But um, anyways, the IMU connects to the first slot right here. And the uh, GPS antenna connects to the last connection uh, called, uh, looks like G2 um, on here. So again, looking at it, reading things this way, uh, right side up, it goes all the way over on the GPS, all the way over on the left for the uh, IMU for the quad. Now the IMU for the stabilizer hooks into the first four slots and I believe it is a order of white, yellow, gray and then the uh, power so which is the red connector here um, so just go in that order and they plug right in there um, then on C7 you've got your connection to your S bus on your receiver on, um, let's see where this one goes, okay, on uh, COM3, you connect your Wi-Fi, and then LED goes into the LED, that's this guy here, and then uh, we have some power cables and things, so let's just follow those, because I don't remember exactly what I did here, um, okay, one of these power cables, which is a uh, two-pin power cable, I believe, Yes, goes into the power connection of the Wi-Fi unit and uh, the other power connection goes into P for power on the on the YS controller um, and those you get off of this uh, this uh, um, battery cable that came with the uh, came with the kit uh, so right now I got all the spaghetti wire that I've got to mount and get out of the way here and make look pretty. And um, so I have to do that, get myself some wire ties and all that good stuff, get the stuff looking nice. 
um, hook up my battery, get these things taped down, connect all my, excuse me, all my uh, ESCs and the, um, and the um, servos, and they're all marked, so it's pretty straightforward on where they plug in. It's just, you know, into the motor, the motor um, designations here on the connections and the extension connections. So <clears throat> that should be fairly straightforward. Um, my only concern is that I may have left too much wire here, and I'm hoping I, I didn't, so I can hide everything okay. But um, I wanted to leave more rather than less because I didn't want to impede the uh, movement on the... Um, on the stabilizer. Um, there was a couple of people that had questions about that, uh, whether or not the stabilizer would be impeded by the wires coming off the battery, but I guess I'll find out. Um, okay, uh, next thing I have to do is mount everything. I believe I, I showed you that just previous, but uh, the um, GPS antenna goes here. The uh, flight control unit goes up here on this mount here. The um, Wi-Fi unit goes in the front, and the IMU goes um, over here on this plate. And I believe the um, LED can be mounted right along the side here in the back. Um, I have to get all that on there, and then uh, once we get it all looking good, we'll come back and um, go step by step on trying to get this thing configured properly. Uh, including the stabilizer.